Have you been drinking red wine for a while? If so, we're sure you've heard about tannins. But do you really know what role they play within a wine? Stick around, because today we're going to give you the top six things you need to know about tannins. Coming up. So today's video is all about the top six things you need to know about tannins. And make sure you stick around until the end because if you do, you will know everything you need to know about tannins. So there you go. <laughs> so let's get into it. So number one, what exactly are tannins? So tannins are chemical compounds found in plants. These compounds like to bind to various proteins. Tannins come from the grape seeds, the grape stems, and the grape skins, not the actual grape juice. And tannins can be found in a variety of different food and drink, not just wine. For example, you can find tannins within tea, apples, and dark chocolate. Number two. So what do tannins actually taste like? So tannins are that bitter, dry taste within a red wine. So if you've ever had a sip of wine and it really dries out your mouth, that's because of tannins. Compare it to tea. If you've ever soaked tea within hot water for too long and it starts to get a really bitter taste to it, that's because of the tannins within the tea. So tannins are a really bitter taste that leave your mouth very dry, like this. So sometimes this dryness can come on immediately or it can come on more gradually. Tannins can be soft and gentle, but they can also be very harsh within a wine. So what types of wine are tannins found within? So usually tannins are only found in red wine, and this is due to how wine is made. Almost all grape juice that comes from grapes is a white grape juice. So in white wine, it is strictly made from the grape juice. However, with red wine, that white grape juice is soaked with the grape skins, seeds, and stems. And that's actually how red wine gets its red colors from soaking with the grape skins. But that's also where red wine gets its tannins because again, tannins are found within the grape seeds, skins, and stems. So by soaking the grape juice with those elements, you get the tannins within the red wine. For example, think about tea again. When you soak the tea leaves and stems within hot water, it draws the tannins out of the tea. Number four, some red wines have more tannins than others. This is because the level of tannins within a wine depend on what types of grapes are used to make that wine. For example, Cabernet Sauvignon typically has a higher tannin level within the wine. That's because the Cabernet Sauvignon grape has a thicker grape skin and contains more tannins. However, on the other end of the spectrum, Pinot Noir typically has a lower tannin level within the wine. This is because the grapes used to make Pinot Noir wine have a thinner skin and have fewer tannins within them. Now younger wines typically have more tannin, and this is because the tannins are used to preserve wine. So the older a wine gets, the fewer tannins it has. But wait! If you like what you see so far, consider subscribing. We post weekly content on wine tips and tricks for any level of wino to learn more about the world of wine. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload new content. So how do you describe the amount of tannins within a bottle of wine? Number five. So you can describe the amount of tannins in a bottle of wine from a scale of tannic to smooth. So what that means is a bottle of wine with a high tannin level is known as a tannic wine. And a bottle of wine with a low tannin level is known as smooth or a smooth wine. Now you can also describe a wine as having medium tannins, medium high tannins, medium low tannins, etc. Just so you can further describe and get more specific on how many tannins are within a wine. Now, side note, say that you open up a bottle of wine and there are just way too many tannins within it and it just tastes off, you can actually decrease the amount of tannins that you taste within a wine or soften the tannins 
by either aerating the wine or decanting it prior to drinking it. And last, who are tannins best friends? Funny that you should ask, it's actually fat and salt. So salt really helps to soften tannins within a tannic wine. For example, you can try this experiment at home. Take a tannic wine and pour just a little bit into two separate wine glasses. Now in one of the wine glasses, sprinkle a little bit of salt within it. You'll notice that the wine that has salt within it has a lot softer tannins to it as compared to the other glass of wine that doesn't have salt within it. You may even think that you're tasting two separate wines after you try this. Now another best friend to tannins is fat. That's because in between each bite of a fatty food, the tannins help to wash away the fat, so it helps to make the next bite taste even better. For example, if you haven't seen our steak and wine video yet, check it out up above. We talk about why tannins go really well in a wine with steak. Now because tannins react really well with fat and salt, it's the main reason that tannic wine pairs really well with cheese, charcuterie, and steak. These foods all have a high amount of fat and salt in them, so they pair excellent with each other. And that's everything you need to know about tannins. Hopefully you stuck around until the end. Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like what you see. We'll see you in our next video. Cheers. Cheers.